And Drew Carney is out and about this morning. If they're shaving people's heads, oh look, is that the soccer team from University of Portland? Perhaps? It can only mean one thing, St. Baldrick's Day. Oh, he's kind of uh, mm -hmm. you know, rubbing his own head. He's Are been, you getting rid of all those pretty locks? He's been letting it grow out. Yes, I've been he preparing has. for this. <laughs> we'll check in with everybody over there. It's such a great cause. We will be right back. It's 512. You're watching News Channel 8 at Sunrise. Drew Carney is out and about this morning. He is out at the airport for us. He's previewing St. Baldrick's Day 2011. Good morning, Drew. Good morning, Russ and Brenda. Yes, the key, the theme to this morning's segments, the fact that bald is beautiful. We are gearing up for the annual Portland St. Baldrick's Day event in support of childhood cancer research. And we have many a local shavy this morning. Who among us needs a haircut? I can think of a few people. We will explain how you can lose your hair and raise money for a great cause, and we'll do so right after this on News Channel 8 at Sunrise. Well, there's a very special hair shaving festival that's happening this weekend. And Drew Carney loves to attend this. It, he helps out any way he can every year. He's given up his own hair. He has. I think a couple of years. He's live out at the airport this morning with a preview of the big event, but some guys are getting their head shaved a little early, Drew. Yes, they are, guys. Portland International Airport is our location. We're in Terminal C, Gate C1 to be exact. We are not boarding any planes this morning. We are instead shaving heads, and we're doing this, as Rush and Brenda mentioned, again, we've done it the last few years, in support of St. Baldrick's Foundation, which, of course, supports childhood cancer research. Now, we're doing a little, what we would call the pre-event shaving this morning. The big event is coming up not this Saturday, but next Saturday, May 14th. There's the information, Oaks Park, Southeast Portland, beginning at one o'clock, more than 200, and they expect maybe even more than 300 people by the time next Saturday rolls around, will be shaving their heads, again, to support this cause that we know as St. Baldrick's Foundation, they are leaders when it comes to the fight against childhood cancer. They raise millions of dollars each year for childhood cancer research. People raise money themselves. They say, hey, I'm going to shave my head in support of this cause, and maybe some friends and family will give me a few bucks in support of this effort so we can help end childhood cancer. University of Portland men's soccer team has been a part of this cause the last three years. Alex Kraus, team captain, uh, talk about the history now. Three years running, how much money have you guys alone raised for the cause? We've raised almost $20,000, so uh, that's over the last three years. So uh, it's an incredible tradition we've started. And I know this is something you're going to be walking away from as far as the soccer team goes because you're a graduating senior. Yep. Alex will be handing the torch. The tradition will live on, and we've got a handful, actually, dozen soccer players that are losing their hair this morning from the University of Portland. But that's just the start of things, Russ and Brenda. Coming up in about 15 minutes, another local soccer type will be losing their hair for the cause. Think Timbers. Think huh. mascot. Think oh. someone that looks just like Timber Joey. <laughs> oh. Timber Joey in the house this morning. He's losing his hair for the cause. All that and more details later. Back to you guys for now. Now, does he get to keep the beard? That's my question. If the hair goes, does the beard We have get to, to stay? ease him into this. That's Come true. on. <laughs> it can be a little rough. All right. Thank you, Drew. Andrew Carney's out and about this morning live out of PDX. He's previewing the St. Baldrick State fundraiser for us. We have one bald head after the other this morning, Russ and Brenda. We're taking hair and raising money for childhood cancer research. We're getting ready for the big St. Baldrick's Day event in Portland. And who is next to have their hair removed this morning? How about the world's finest chainsaw-wielding soccer mascot, Timber Joey, in the house this morning to raise money and raise awareness for childhood cancer research. Someone get me some clippers, because this man is a little too hairy for my taste. Back after this on how you can help this is news, Channel 8 at Sunrise. It's 546 this morning. Mother's Day is Sunday, but St. Baldrick's Day is the day before that, coming up this Saturday. And Drew Carney has a special preview for us this morning. Yeah, he's live at Portland International Airport with some very special shavies, Drew. Yes, yes, I'm petting Timber Joey uh, this morning, <laughs> Russ and Brenda. That's what's happening here at PDX. Early in the morning, and we're shaving heads. Timber Joey's next. University of Portland men's soccer team obviously already had their head shaved this morning, all doing so in support of St. Baldrick's Foundation, the leaders 
in childhood cancer research, raising money to end childhood cancer. So Timber Joey, uh, this is something that I hope our, our viewers are familiar with because we've done a preview to the big Portland head shaving fundraising event the last few years. Uh, but talk to me, I know that the Timbers came to you and said, we want to support the cause this year. We need a shavy. That shavy is you. Your reaction was? Of course. No question. No question. There is a question though this morning. I've heard Russ and Brenda ask it already on the air. The people back there in our control booth are wondering, this comes off. Does this come off? That does not come off. That's going to be a bad look there, ladies and gentlemen. Brandy, please remove Timber Joey's hair this morning. Again, he is the latest shavee in support of St. Baldrick's Foundation. Our viewers can help the cause one of two ways. You can shave next Saturday, the 14th, Oaks Park, starting at 1 o'clock. Show your support by losing your hair or... What I would find to be the easier way is just to donate, give money. You can support Timber Joey. You can support the University of Portland men's soccer team. Uh, there's all different types of people that you can support, and we put links to many on our website, kgw.com. Who are you helping? Here's an example right here next to me this morning. I have Joe Farrar and his young son, Ramsey, who I believe now is four years of age. Correct. Uh, Ramsey, a few years ago, was diagnosed with what is considered the uh, most common form of childhood cancer. Please explain it for me, Joe. Uh, Ramsey has acute lymphoblastic leukemia. It's ALL. Uh, the cure rate for his leukemia was 3% in the 1950s, and we're closing in on 90% right now. So it's the research dollars work. Um, it's the research that does it, no question. Second most of the U.S. government uh, in funding is St. Baldrick, so we're uh, thankful. People ask all the time, we're raising millions each year. When are we going to see a difference? You just said it. We are seeing a difference. Ten years ago, certainly 20 years ago, Ramsey's not sitting here with us this morning on News Channel at Sunrise with, with his disease. Now he's fighting it and he's winning it thanks to the research, thanks to the local doctors. This is why we ask you to shave. This is why we ask you to give. Timber Joey doing just that this morning. Giving his hair and hopefully raising a lot of money for it. Again, guys, it's kgw.com slash Drew Carney to be uh, specific. And that's where you'll find the link to give money in support of Timber Joey's new bald head. We're out of time for now. More <laughs> shavies, big names coming up in the six o'clock hour. Back to you. Tell Joey he looks great. Uh, yeah. He wears He's a handsome well. fella. Yeah, he is. Thank you, Drew. When you have a good <laughs> shaped head, you yeah, know, you're golden. it makes all the difference on the bald <laughs> look, I think. <laughs> it's 612. Drew Carney is live at PDX this morning, shaving heads for cancer <laughs> research. That, my friends, is the freshly shaven head of one Timber Joey. And right now, Joey goes from shavy to shaver. Please remove some hair this morning. Alaska Airlines employees, along with Timber Joey, all losing their hair this morning in support of childhood cancer research. This is something our viewers can get behind as well. And Russ and Brenda, if we can think of a news channel at a Sunrise employee that could use a haircut, maybe that person will lose their hair this morning too. We'll have more from Portland International Airport ending childhood cancer today. That's the goal. Back after this. Well, some special volunteers are shaving their heads for a very good cause this morning. It's for St. Baldrick's Day, right, Drew? <laughs> That's right, guys. This hour, we have Alaska Airlines employees shaving their heads again in support of childhood cancer research, in support of children with cancer like young Ramsey here. Ramsey, take off some hair this morning, would you, my friend? We have details coming up on how our viewers can support this cause, and, and we have the president of a major airline losing his locks. It's all coming up this hour on News Channel 8 at Sunrise. It is 626 this morning. You know, every year hundreds of people shave their heads for a very good cause. And Drew Carney is live at Portland International oh, no. Airport yeah. previewing yeah. St. Baldrick's Day. I think he's going like to be there. one of the shavees at some point, right? I think it would be good for TV, uh, future television segments, if I lost some of this hair, guys. Mm -hmm. uh, so far this morning, the University of Portland men's soccer team has shaved their head. Timber Joey has shaved his head. Alaska Airlines employees have shaved their heads and are having their heads shaved as we speak. And coming up in about 20 minutes, the president of that very Alaska Airlines, Brad Tilden, is going to have his head shaved as well, again in support of St. Baldrick's Foundation and Childhood Cancer Research. So Brad, I ask you, it's not every day that a major airline president goes bald for a cause. Why this cause, why you, why today? You know, it's, uh, it's really very simple. We met the Farrar family uh, maybe a year and a half ago at this gate. 
uh, last Carolines had a Make-A-Wish airplane. We were rolling it out, and uh, Ramsey was the Make-A-Wish kid going down to Disneyland, and it's just a fabulous family. And uh, all of us in Alaska got close to these folks. Uh, Joe asked us a couple months, he said, uh, I'm involved with St. Baldrick's. I'm going to try to raise some money for him. Would, would Alaska like to get involved? And we said, of course. How can you support Brad? How can, you, how can you support Alaska Airlines employees? How can you support Timber Joey? We have links on our website to give support to childhood cancer research. And there it is, guys. KGW.com slash Drew Carney. And yes, I will sit next to Brad and have my head shaved as well. 20 minutes from now, Russ and Brenda, back to you. We'll see you soon, Drew. Thank you. It is 6.43. Drew is spending the morning at PDX where people are shaving their heads for a good cause. Yes, we have been shaving heads this morning, Russ and Brenda, for St. Baldrick's Foundation. And up next, the president of Alaska Airlines. There you go, Mr. Brad. And a local television reporter go. will shave their heads in support of childhood cancer research. <laughs> How can our viewers support the cause? We'll explain that as well next, right here on News Channel 8 of Sunrise. You kind of like that, don't you? <laughs> If you missed it before the break, Drew started shaving his head. He's kind of in the process, but it's all for a good cause. Oh, Childhood look, look cancer what they did research. Here. Now, how much would we have to donate for him to leave it like that <laughs> for even a week or two? What do you think? Well, uh, I would leave it like this for uh, for twenty thousand dollars right now. Oh, come but I need on. it now. There you have it. He's named okay. his price. Well, what do you come check on. from what you? Like that, maybe? Maybe? Yours is better than mine, I think. <laughs> A hundred dollars? I don't know. That doesn't seem like enough, guys. It's uh, not I enough. I used to part my hair. No, I used to part my hair in the middle when I was in elementary school. Maybe, I, maybe I should go back to that look. I don't know. Uh, we can take off a few more pieces of hair if you don't mind, there, Brandy. Here we are, guys, at Portland International Airport this morning, getting ready for the annual St. Baldrick's Day event here in Portland. It's an annual fundraiser for childhood cancer research. Why are we at Portland International Airport? Well, we need it to be near a large concentration of Alaska Airlines employees because their president, Brad Tilden, agreed to have his head shaved as well for the cause. Brad, if you don't mind, I'm going to have young Ramsey back there take off a few swipes of hair. Uh, Ramsey is the inspiration behind Brad having his head shaved this morning. He met Ramsey and his family a few years ago, heard about Ramsey's condition. Ramsey has a, a form of leukemia that is considered the largest Childhood cancer, I want to say that it's the largest form or most common form of childhood cancer that we know of. In the 1950s, ladies and gentlemen, Ramsey's form of leukemia killed 97% of the patients who received that form of leukemia. Today, the survival rate is close to 90%. From 3% survival rate to close to 90% in our lifetimes, and that's because of childhood cancer research. And they do it with money. Believe it or not, it's important, and you can make a difference. So Brad is shaving his head today. Other Alaska Airlines employees shaving their head today. I'm shaving my head. We had Timber Joey of the Portland Timbers shave his head today. We had members of the University of Portland Timbers, uh, Portland Pilots, pardon me, University of Portland Pilots soccer team shave their head. You can support any one of these individuals or teams by going to the website we've been showing you all morning, and again, it's kgw.com slash Drew Carney. There are links to all of our fundraising pages there. Please, we all have goals and we need your help. I mentioned 20,000, Russian Brenda. Why not keep it there? Mm -hmm. All of our viewers, all the businesses that support our show, the local members of our community can go there today. $5, $10, $50, $100. I'll take a few thousand as well. And it's all again going to support childhood cancer research. The main event, the main head shaving event is not today, it is next Saturday, the 14th of May, at Oaks Park in Southeast Portland, and that is where close to 300 more people in our area will shave their head for the cause. It's an amazing effort, guys, and we want to thank again. How about a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for Brad Tilden, his fellow Alaska Airlines employees, Timber Joey, University of Portland men's soccer team, and all the other shavees that continue to show their support to put an end to childhood cancer. So that Ramsey there, Ramsey, can you look at camera Steve with the camera there? That face needs to be around for many years, I believe, yes. guys. Let's yeah. make it happen. Russ and Brenda, <laughs> back to you. And you left yourself out, Drew. I think this is your third year, right, of shaving your head? Thank, yes, uh, we're, uh, we've raised more than 25000 in those two years, Russ, and hopefully we can raise a lot more. You bet. Yeah, I'm in. Thanks, Drew. Good job.